a young woman decided to go skinny dipping in a lake in an isolated place when she suddenly notices a strange man on the shore who is continuously following her. In beginning of the story, a young couple steals a car and gets on the road. In the next morning, the girl named Amber wakes up in a car in the middle of the forest and she discovers that her boyfriend Jake is missing. Amber calms down when she sees her boyfriend in the jungle. After Jake returns to the car, Amber wonders if they have reached or not Florida yet, but Jack also don't know about this. Amber opens the compartment of the car hoping to find a map, but instead sees a revolver. And now Jack wants to teach her how to use a gun. Jake is satisfied with Amber's first attempt but tells her to open her eyes while shooting the gun next time. Amber wonders if she looks good or not with her weapon. Jack says she is looking very beautiful but now Amber points a revolver at him. Jack asks her to not joke with him around like that but she orders him to get on his knees. Jack smiles nervously and decides to play with Amber. Amber asks him to close his eyes and count to 10. Jack is fine with the role play and begins the countdown. Amber asks him to count slowly. After a few seconds, Jack opens his eyes and sees Amber running away from him. By laughing, Jack also follows Amber. Amber runs to shore of a small lake. She takes all her clothes off and runs into the water. After swimming for a while, Amber is surprised that Jack still haven't found her. Instead of that, she sees a strange man on the shore. He greets Amber and asks her how she finds the water. Amber says that water is wonderful. The stranger notices that she is very nervous and asks to Amber if he is carrying her by any chance, Amber tries to stay calm and says that everything is fine. Amber decided to swim along the shore but the mysterious man slowly walks in her direction. Amber looks around, he is following her and asks that man why he is following her. The man says he is just enjoying the view. Amber tries to ease the tension and jokingly calls him a bad boy. The stranger wonders that the car parked outside the jungle is belongs to Amber or not. Amber smiles nervously and says yes to him. Amber tells him she is waiting for his boy friend but the man asks her to swim closer because he can't hear her. He asks for her name. Amber's cheerful mood is almost gone. She says her name while glancing at her clothes and gun. The stranger asks her why she is not at school now. Amber says that she doesn't go to the school. The strange man then warns Amber that this place is very dangerous since a couple of people drown here every year and usually because they swim on their own. She is scared and says with a smile that she will be fine and swim away from the street. Stranger. Staring instantly to the Amber, the man gives her a compliment. He likes the Amber's hair. Amber's tension is rising, but Amber thanks him. It seems to the stranger that Amber is getting tired. He asks her if she wants to get to the shore, but Amber decided to wait for her boyfriend. The man promises that he will not look at her, so she can get out of the water in a piece. Although Amber is shaking from the cold, she refuses to him. After some time, the man says Amber to his boyfriend will not come. Extremely alarmed. Amber changes her plan. She tells the man that if he doesn't get out of her, then the boyfriend kicks his ass. The suspicious man doubts his and shocks Amber by saying that her boyfriend is already dead. The frightened Amber refuses to believe it and loudly calls out to the Jake. After this, Amber swims away from the shore. Amber notices that the man is gone and she decided to get to the shore after all. She picks her clothes but does not find the gun there. Amber quickly gets dressed and leaves the lake. She runs through the forest shouting her boyfriend's name. But there is no answer. Amber finds the car while lots of tears in her eyes. She drives away at maximum speed but suddenly from the back of the seat, a creepy hand slowly reaches to the Amber's head. And the story ends here. Viewers, if you like my explanation at least 1%, then please subscribe to our channel and be with us till the end. So let's see you in next video. Bye-bye.